Welcome to React Custom Hooks mini course. In this course, we will learn how to create custom state and effect hooks, how to test them using React testing library, and how to publish them as a standalone npm package. In this video, we'll show you how to create your first custom state hook. We'll begin with a simple counter application. Right now, it uses React use state hook and two functions to decrement and increment our counter. We use increment and decrement functions as event handlers. When we click increment button, we increment our counter, and when we click decrement, we decrement it. We can easily move this logic to a custom hook. Begin by creating a new function. We'll call it use counter. It is a convention to begin your hook names with the word use. Now copy your state hook and your handler functions and paste them into your custom hook. We can remove them from the component for now. Now we need to return our state and increment and decrement functions from our hook. Return an object, add count, increment and decrement using shorthand property names syntax. Now inside of your app component, we can use our use country hook. Use the structuring assignment to get count, increment and decrement. We will get them by calling our use counter hook. Now let's verify that our application still works as intended. Now when we know that we didn't break anything, let's move our hook to a separate file. Inside of your SRC folder, create new file and call it use counter. .js. Go to app.js, copy our hook and paste it into use counter file. Don't forget to import React. We also need to export our hook. Go back to app.js, remove use counter definition, and instead import it from our use counter JS file. At this point, you've created your first custom state hook. Make sure to see other videos from this course in the attached playlist. Also, don't forget to press like button and subscribe to the channel to see other tutorials. And see you in the next video.